Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how to install Kali NetHunter ROM which is for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T both the devices you can install and I'll also mention all the links in the description below so you can download the files from there and there's a different procedure to install that because even I had faced lots of issue installing that so guys make sure your device is running on stock kernel on your device oneplus 3 so you can see i'm running oxygen os 4.1.6 and on this i'll flash the room so for that download the files i have already downloaded the files and i'll show you those files available in my internal memory so one is kernel for nethunter and other one is the complete room zip file so these two are the requirements uh, for your device so after installation we'll take a look at the things what are available in that and what all things are working and which all things are not working so for that make sure you have twrp recovery and i would recommend you guys to decrypt your device so that you don't face any kind of issues after the installation i have already decrypted the device so let's boot to twrp recovery and start the installation process so once your device boots to twrp recovery you don't have to wipe anything and uh, you can keep it as it is because uh, i tried few methods uh, to make a clean installation but that did not work out for me so now what I'll do is I'll directly go to install and first I'll install the complete room file. So once the room has been flashed you can go back and install the NetHunter kernel. So now everything is done and just reboot your system. So your device will boot up in somewhere around 2 to 3 minutes and after that you can just go to settings and in this you can see the kernel version is 3.18 NetHunter 3.1. So this is the kernel which we are using on this room and now let's take a look at the applications available on this and we'll also check few apps whether they are working or not because I have found some error with the camera application so yes camera application still gives an error it doesn't open up so if you guys want to use different camera you can download from the google play store i have not personally tested but uh, you can test and give a try and also do let me know in the comment section below next thing what we'll do is uh, we'll open nethunter application and give all the permissions to complete the setup So you get a uh, root access permission over here, grant this permission. So it says initial setup done and everything is set up now. So let's go back and go to menu and we have few applications available here. First is CSploit and this application I think it doesn't work because it's, it has an update which we are not able to download. So we go back. So the next application is DriveDroid. So basically DriveDraw uh, allows you to boot your PC uh, from ISO files if they are available on your storage. So that I'll ignore because I'm not aware of all these things. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying uh, to use this room. After using it, I'll let you know guys uh, about the room, how is it and what is exactly all applications do. So the next application we have is Hackers Keyboard. So this is a hacker's keyboard which basically is used for terminal apps like uh, you need to have some codes and everything. So it will have all the options available, control, number keys, shift. So this is for basically people who plays with the commands. So the next one is uh, NetHunter. This is the main application. So in this you have few options like uh, Kali CH root manager. So it is checking an existing Kali CH root was found. Next we go back and you have check app update, Kali services, custom commands, Mac changer, VNC manager, HID attacks. So there are many uh, options available in this you guys can check out. And uh, the next you have is NetHunter terminal. So this is used for commands. Next is NetHunter VNC. So I'm not aware about this application so I skip it. Next you have uh, OpenVPN, this is used uh, to access different uh, regions, countries have uh, issues with the 
sites so they uh, block those sites you can always use this uh, application to change the vpn uh, and access other regions so the next you have is rs analyzer so this app doesn't open so let's check what is the issue we'll wait for some time after that you have a router keygen basically this allows you to uh, find the wi-fi keys available for specific networks not for all so you can see now many wi-fi connections available here and it says unsupported next app is shodan and uh, this app basically helps you discover which, which of your devices are connected to internet and where are they connected and the last one is you have usb keyboard available here so this is a usb keyboard i have not used so let's use this and check how does it work so these are the things available in this guys so if you guys want to test this do give a try and uh, there are few bugs in this so hope they get fixed in the next update so as of now that's all in this video guys if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day